Well, how can you just sit there and say you don't remember? Well, I I'm sorry, Mrs. Carson. All I remember is that we went to a party in Turak somewhere and I woke up wet. He could be anywhere. He could be lying dead in a gutter for all we know. Uh, Billy, um, where on earth have you been? I went to a party and stayed the night, that's all. Don't get in a state. I am in a state. You disappear all night without letting anyone know. I'm sorry, all right. Not to mention your exams. Well, weren't you supposed to have an exam this morning? They wouldn't let me in, would they? What does that mean? I was late. Oh, congratulations. Now, what are you going to do for the hat-trick? Well, I didn't want to do it anyway. I'm not going back next year. And you're quite happy to fail so that you couldn't defer even if you wanted it to. It wasn't my fault, Then no. whose fault was it? Billy, I'm prepared to support whatever you choose, as long as you prove you're adult enough to make a choice. For these last few weeks, I've started to wonder. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, look at yourself. You've been unbearable to live with. Selfish, bad-tempered, irritable. If your father was if here... If my father were here, what? He'd do what, Mum? Put me across his knee? That's enough. He's not here! And I'm fed up with everyone trying to turn me into him. Billy, I, I didn't... All mean... my life I've had a shovel down my throat. Oh, what a fine man Dad was. How I should grow up to be just like him. You, Grandpa Carson. Granddad. No one's ever given a damn about what I want. do you want, Billy? To get out of here for a start. I'm moving out. Billy? I'm sorry, Arthur. I suppose I ought to apologize. I didn't mean to hurt you, Mum. You're too old to use that as an excuse, Billy. Your behavior has been unforgivable. I know. Mum, I may appear to be ungrateful. But I want you to know I do appreciate the sacrifices you've made for me. I know it hasn't been easy. Oh, Billy, do you really think that's what upsets me? But you've worked so hard. Because I wanted to. When your father died, Grandpa Carson made it quite clear that there was no need for me to work. That if I were prepared to sit at home, do nothing but keep house, he'd be happy to pay all our expenses. But you chose not to. Yes. But my decision to practice law wasn't made carelessly. It was something I wanted to do. Something to strive for. And that's what upsets me about you, Billy. Not that you don't want to do law, but you don't seem to know what you want to do instead. It's not that I don't like law. Maybe I'll go back to it later. What have you thought about what you're going to do in the meantime? Oh, there are three or four clerical positions advertised in this. I'll start hunting around today. And then once I've got employment, I'll... I'll look for some lodgings. I understand that you want to get a job, but... Is there really any need for you to leave home? I'm sorry, Mum, but I can't just do it halfway. I'd better go and change, or all the jobs will be gone. No. I really am sorry, Mum. <laughs> 